Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the workshop. It's fantastic to have you here today. We are going to be taking apart the collet chuck that you saw me try to begin to take apart a little while ago. The aim is that we adapt it to make a 5C collet. As you can tell, I am wrecked. I just got back from a trip to Montana, hanging out with my buddy Will Stelter. We tore up some slopes on the skis, we shot some guns, we had some fun, it was an awesome three days. But the trouble is, is I now have horrible jet lag because I wasn't able to sleep on the plane, but it really wasn't so bad because I was able to listen to audiobooks the whole way, which is why Audible, you guys rock. Thank you for sponsoring this episode because I was able to listen to audiobooks the whole way back, absorb some information, listen to some great stories. So thank you, Audible, for sponsoring this video and having the platform that means that I could not sleep on a plane but still just have a dandy old time because I get to listen to 12 Strong and the Thank You Economy. I'm going to tell you about those books at the end. Thank you, Audible. You guys can get your 30-day free trial and a free audiobook by going to audible.com forward slash forge or by texting FORGE to 500-500 if you're in the US. Thank you, Audible. Thank you guys for tuning in for this episode. We're going to get cracking. This Chuck here does not know what it has in store for it today. Let's, uh, let's break it apart. This is a collet Chuck that I had from my lathe. You saw me take it apart this far in one of the episodes of the uh, frame lock folding knife build. But I couldn't get any further because there was one little culprit, one screw that wouldn't come out. But I went and bought myself one of these things. Now what is this? This supposedly is a screwdriver that you hammer on the back end of, which means that you can apply downwards pressure, and hopefully that'll have the effect of being able to extract this screw without us having to drill it out. There is one issue, however. The flathead bit that is supplied with this is awfully thick. So we're gonna whittle it down a little bit here at the belt grinder. Right, will this work? Yep, looks like we're about there. I think that's how it goes. There we go. Oh boy. Not going quite as well as I'd like. Oh, yes, yes, look at that, it's working, yes, <laughs> okay, whoever invented the hammered screwdriver, you deserve a Nobel Prize, look at that, wow, we did it, all right, now we've got to see, got to see how we get that out, did I do anything, I have no idea how this comes apart. So I'm really struggling here because I've tried whacking on the thing, I tried beating on it a little bit, and this none of this will come out. I then looked at it a little more and I realized there's some more screws in here. I don't know what they do, so I tried unscrewing them and yep, there goes that screwdriver, nice and brand new too. None of these three here are budging whatsoever. And I have no idea what they'd be holding in. From my understanding, I just need to get this out of there and supposedly it can just come out of there, but I have no idea how to get it out. So of course, I've broken this little handheld screwdriver here, which sucks, this was brand new. Been really enjoying it. And this here came with only one flathead screwdriver. And as you can see, there ain't nowhere that's getting in there. Now I know what you're thinking. You're saying, Alec, don't you have a big old box of bits? Surely something in here would work. Well, let's have a look. Oh, well, hey, would you look at that? That just about gets in there. Now it's time to just put it in the, uh, put it in the, yeah, different diameters. Now I don't happen to have any hexagonal stock, let alone any hexagonal stock that's in the right size. I do, however, have a hexagonal collet block and I've got some silver steel. And with an appropriate collet, I'll be able to put this in there. I'll then be able to throw one of these bad boys on, cinch her down, which means I'm gonna be able to set that puppy in there. So I'm gonna put an end mill in here. Make sure this is lined up. There we go, give it a tighten. And I'm gonna use a piece of paper to uh, touch off 0.1 millimeters above the rod. There we go. So now I'm just barely touching the material. I'm gonna pull my speed up. This is 10 millimeter rod. This is 8 millimeter hex. So I'm gonna go down one millimeter. First, I'll go half the depth. Now down another half millimeter to one millimeter. And now what I've got to do is I've just got to simply undo this, flip it around, and then keep going in. Five more times. Let's see if she fits. Ha ha, look at that, perfect. That's no bueno. Well, that'll work.
So now I'm just gonna grind the tip on it. I'm actually first gonna hit this with a sharpie. And so now I can give it a scribe. This way I got something to work to that's parallel. Now we can grind it. There we go. That'll work. Into the forge we go, and now into the quench. Here we are out of the quench. We do have to temper it though. I'm just gonna polish it up on this wheel. So I'll set this on there and we'll let the temper colors run. There we go. That's perfect. Now we're gonna arrest it in some oil. Look at that beautiful blue purple. That's a nice, uh, nice deep temper, which should hopefully mean that this is flexible and doesn't shatter. Okay, let's see. It fits. It looks beautiful. And so now, find the slot of the screw and we hit. See if this is broken yet. <gasps> it's already a little bent. Yes. Yes! Oh yeah, baby. Woo! -hoo! There we go. Haha. <laughs> Let's try this one. No! I broke. No. Oh, broke another screwdriver. Yeah, I'm gonna have to regrind that. Oh, I think it worked. Oh, I think it's working. Yes! Do a little more of this. WD-40. So after unbelievable amounts of hammering, this is where I have that screw. You can see how much we've chiseled into it. It's right at the top surface, but what I think has happened, we're out of the threads now, but we've swelled it so much that the screw itself, the head of it is, is putting so much pressure on the side walls here that it's just simply stuck and isn't gonna pop out the way we'd obviously expect it to. It's still extremely stiff in there. And just because we've tapered it so much, the slot that is by this getting driven in there, it's just such a loose fit that without the downwards pressure, it just wants to slide right out as soon as you apply torsional force to it. Oh, nope, that's not working. I don't know what this weird bit is here in the drill, but maybe that'll bite on a little. Yes! Yes! We have... No way. We got it out of there. Holy moly. Look at how much we have wrecked that thing. That is just hilarious. Right, now on to the last one. Well, if that isn't just a glorious stroke of luck, then on the last one it comes straight out with probably only six hammer blows. It is loosened, and there is the last pin. The only trouble is, though, I have no idea what those pins held in, and I just hope that somehow something comes loose. So I was trying to somehow get that back piece out of there, and I just threw a duplicate collet I had, and I just sacrilege alert beat on the thing, and there we go. This has now popped out. That is the piece that we're looking for. I wonder how much damage we've done uh, while getting it out of there. So it's now jammed in there, so I now need to somehow release this from that collet. When in doubt. Oh, there we go, it's out of there. Now is this out of there? Yes! You can see how this is the identical taper up here on the collet. Identical diameter fits lovely. And so indeed, my suspicions were correct. The only thing that I need to change is this. And I can tell this is gonna be an extremely fun project. But you know what I can also tell? I've spent an entire day or more getting apart that one last screw. I had to make an entirely new screwdriver, modify it multiple times to get out these screws on the sides, and none of those did anything to hold that in. Oh well. So obviously with all this jet lag, I'm completely exhausted, so I can't do any more work on that. Instead, I'm actually now going to try and tire myself out by going and seeing a movie. I'm gonna go see 12 Strong. I'm sure you heard about that. The warriors that first entered Afghanistan after 9-11. These special forces guys, they went into the country with virtually kind of no support there, and they had to ride into battle on horseback on these little Afghani horses with their Afghani allies to fight the Taliban. Unbelievable, they went in on horseback. So I saw trailers for the movie 12 
12 strong, and I thought, that's incredible, I'm sure it's about a book. So I then went and got the book on Audible, and the book is phenomenal. So I have been listening to 12 strong, and I just finished it, and made my journey back and forth from the US absolutely a million times more enjoyable. Make sure you guys get 12 strong. But maybe you're not so interested in like a historical action book right now, and maybe you're interested in this being the new year, this being the perfect opportunity to really help retune your life, retune your goals, retune the way you're working towards them. My advice on the book that's going to really help you to reevaluate the word is that you're going to structure your own business and your own life is The Thank You Economy by Gary Vaynerchuk. It's a new year, you can make it a new you, and I strongly recommend listening to The Thank You Economy by Gary Vaynerchuk. That is the book that I believe has been an incredible influence on my business and the way it is that I want to tackle this little enterprise here. So these are my two book recommendations on Audible, 12 Strong, or The Thank You Economy by Gary Vaynerchuk. Both fantastic books. Make sure you go to audible.com forward slash forge. Links in the description. You can also text forge to 500 500 to get your free trial and to get one of those books for free when you sign up right at that link. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for having joined me. I'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. We've got an awesome collaboration lined up with TA Outdoors. We're going to be making a bushcraft knife, so make sure you hit subscribe and hang along. Can't wait to hear the books that you've been listening to on Audible. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.